Uh, the book is a response to my dissatisfaction uh, of the way in which international law is usually assumed to only exist in international institutions and norms and, and, and also uh, the way in which often international law is understood as being disentangled to the project of international development. And for me, if you look at both of these fields, international law and development, or these areas of actions and practice, you understand that international law is uh, way more uh, uh, omnicomprehensive project uh, and that has come to shape uh, life at all levels. I wanted uh, to present to the reader from the very beginning, from the title, a sense of how local um, life, it is already deeply embedded in global transformations, and how that those transformations are not foreign to law. Bogota is a, a fascinating city that has um, experienced a massive process of transformation over the last years. And that transformation has been um, uh, uh, been a response of a process of the, the decentralization of the development project in, in the Colombian national state, which has uh, in itself reflected a broader uh, promotion of the idea of decentralization across the global south. And decentralization has uh, been so, become so uh, popular and so prominent in international politics and national administrative transformations because it has been a way of updating the national state form that uh, was uh, born in the case of Latin America during the process of independence, uh, but expanded through the process of decolonization. And that form uh, entered into crisis in the 1970s and 1980s, and the response, uh, one of the many responses, uh, but an important one, uh, has been to uh, desegregate the national state functions, and in particular, to translate some of those functions to the local level that it assumes to be more versatile, more responsible, and responsive to global challenges and, and transformations. And in that sense, uh, Bogota has done quite well. My uh, attempt uh, at using ethnography and anthropological thought and theory and history has not been simply to um, bring uh, different disciplines to be a witness of what's, what is happening in international law. Uh, my final attempt has been to generate a more acute understanding of international law and try to offer a new image of international law that is uh, ethnographically grounded, anthropologically informed, theoretically uh, aware, historic, historically cognizant of uh, the evolution of international law. Uh, the end result of that process is a, an, a view of international law that, is, that, yes, it exists in international spaces, it operates through international norms and courts and tribunals um, and convoys and peacekeeping operations, but it also an international law that uh, willingly or unwillingly, it informs both uh, the successes but also the dramas that characterize everyday life um, at the global uh, level.